How's it going guys? So today's video topic is going to be a little bit different than normal. We're going to be talking about NoFap aka abstaining from masturbation to porn. So it's something that I've kind of mentioned a little bit in an earlier video but I finally have gotten down to doing a full video uh, directed on this topic today. So if you find this topic uncomfortable then click away. Uh, there's not going to be any graphic kind of talk, uh, graphics or whatever. It's just gonna, I'm just having a conversation here. So the idea of NoFap is abstaining from masturbation to porn. And you might be thinking, why would somebody want to do that? That doesn't make any sense because masturbation is healthy and why, like it feels good, orgasm feels good. Why would you want to abstain from doing that? What has happened um, since the invention of internet porn and we got all this high speed internet is that pretty well 99% of guys are jerking off to internet porn. You might think, why is there a problem with that? The problem is not necessarily with jerking off. The problem stems from the fact that when you start out watching porn, you watch usually just some pretty low intense stuff. Then when you get bored of that, aka the Coolidge effect, you, you move on to more intense forms of porn. And where this starts to become a problem is when you're constantly searching for that next almost like high in order to get yourself off, it starts to mimic the same addiction patterns that you have with like cocaine or heroin or just, just drugs in general or even uh, being addicted to alcohol. It mimics the same kind of, uh, the same mechanism the same uh, pleasure circuitry, pleasure reward circuitry in your brain. So basically why guys get addicted to this, and I've, I've watched a few videos on this, is because internet porn is very easy um, to get a hold of. And the reason why guys will, will start to do this, and I did this for like a decade, so I'm not judging anyone for doing it. I did it for m more years than most people is that when you start to feel some type of discomfort in your life, you just kind of, maybe you just feel bored or you just feel a little anxious, one way that you know that you can, uh, you can improve your mood or change your mood is by jerking off. It's, it's, very, it's just very common. It's, and it's not even something that you're like, oh my God, I feel bad, so I'm gonna go jerk off. It's just almost kind of like this intuitive thing that you almost do in some kind of way because you know that with internet porn and with uh, just like all the porn that you, that's so easily available for free, you can just go and jerk off, like no problem, like it's just cool. So it doesn't seem like a big problem. But the problem is that when you start this, it does start to mimic an addiction. And it does have actually implications on how your brain is even wired as well. So there's this, uh, this one scientist guy who's done an incredible amount of research on it and he's got some great YouTube videos that explain this a lot better than I can explain it. Um, so I'll have links to that stuff in the description box below. But it really starts to fuck with your head. And the reason, the way that people are starting to realize this is because it's starting to, all, a lot of guys in the world are starting to manifest a lot of the same kind of, um, a lot of the same symptoms of having a porn addiction. So what they're noticing is that guys are having really, really bad social anxiety. They're having really bad um, depression in general, um, really low self-esteem, as well as having um, some guys are even getting um, really early forms of erectile dysfunction at a very young age. And so what they're noticing is that when these guys are showing a lot of these symptoms and they abstain from... Uh, from masturbating to internet porn, a lot of these symptoms tend to just go away. They go away over time, whether it takes one month or three months or five months. The longer that the guy abstains from internet porn, these, uh, these problems tend to go away. Now, I was very interested in this as I'm like, I'm always experimenting with uh, things in my body, with food and with you know other habits like meditation, visualization. So I was very interested in this. Um, as someone who is, you know, jerked off since the age of like, I don't know, like when I hit puberty, like 14 or 15 or when, whenever kids do, right? And 
you know, um, most of it was all, most of it was internet porn, right? Um, so, I mean, when I first when I first uh, got a computer, we didn't have uh, high speed. We had we had dial up, right? As it's connecting, right? And <laughs> so I, I didn't I you know I, the, getting a lot of porn back in those days was a little bit was more difficult, right? But it was still something that you did, right? Uh, but as you start to get high speed internet, now we got websites like U Porn um, that make it just so easy to get like good high quality porn, and you have so much variety. It's absolutely incredible. And I would say that maybe in my early 20s and my late teens, so from the ages of 18 to maybe 24 or something like that, I would say that I did have really bad social anxiety, really bad. I was very, very shy. I never really wanted to kind of go out and uh, interact with people too much. And I also would say that I was depressed for many of those years as well. I just didn't really know what was going on in my life. I was really confused. Now, whether this was as a result of internet porn, which it very well may have been a contributor, I'm not going to say it's 100% that, but could it have contributed to those symptoms? It very, it very well could have. Just uh, looking at some of the, of uh, some some of the clinical trials and scientific research that's uh, that's kind of been done on this. It, it very well could have. So it's something that I really don't I don't have any problems with that anymore. Just over the past couple of years, you know, I wouldn't say that I, I have any massive amounts of social anxiety or any depression. In fact, like over the past probably three or four months, I've felt the very best in my life, and I'm still jerking off to porn to a little bit. But I would say this is that it doesn't have. It doesn't have the same effect on me anymore when I was doing it. Um, I just kind of felt like it was kind of pointless. And so when probably just over about a month ago, um, at the start of November, is I was doing a, doing a grape cleanse. So I was just eating just grapes for uh, an extended period of time. I ended up doing it for 16 days. So on top of that, I was like, you know what? I might as well do a no-fap experiment as well. So I was like, I'll abstain from fapping to internet porn. And it was going great. It was going fantastic. And I was, uh, I, I wouldn't say I noticed some huge benefits or anything like that because I was already feeling really good in my life um, as it was. But I did notice like, I, there were just periods where like I just felt really good. You know, I just felt very confident. I feel more, um, you know, flirty with girls. Like I just like, like to flirt with girls more um, since I'm not jerking off to porn. And I have broken the FAP experiment, I guess, in, in a way. And I, I'm back on it, but I'll explain. So I went about 25 days without blowing a load, all right? 25 days. And then I hooked up with a girl and I blew a load. Um, so it was about 25 days that I went without blowing a load. So that was, that was pretty cool. And then about three or four, three or four days after um, I was with that girl, I, I jerked off four times in three days. And I, I, didn't, I didn't jerk off to porn, no internet porn or anything like that, um, just to my mind or whatever. So I did that and now I've been clean for I think, uh, so last time I jerked off was like probably I think like five days ago or something like that. And it's, just, it's really interesting. It's an interesting experiment. Um, it's hard to say conclusively how this will affect my life over the long term. Um, because it's been it's been such a short time. It's just been over a month, about 40, 45 days since I've so out of that whole time, I haven't jerked off to porn, internet porn, which is the big thing in my mind. Is I don't want to be jerking off to porn, but I have jerked off and I've bl blown a load in a girl. So what 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 can be the ramifications of this? You know, a lot of guys notice incredible benefits. Um, you know, they get so much more clarity in life. They have uh, a lot less anxiety. They're, they're just much more confident in life. And so if it's something that you're doing, I would definitely say to experiment with the idea of NoFap. Um, there's some great YouTube channels on it. There's a great website, NoFap Academy, um, which is basically just dedicated to getting guys off of internet porn. And a big thing that guys notice when they go on the NoFap is that there's just so much more attracted to women. They're so much more attracted to women because their whole kind of um, sexual identity has been so like 
enveloped in like an internet porn that their sexual identity and just being like, you know, like fun and flirty and sexual with women has really been diminished. And I think that's probably something that I've noticed. That is actually, that is something that I've noticed a big difference is, is that I'm way more attracted to girls. Like I was attracted to girls before, but I mean, I have much more of this like behind me to want to go girls, right? If you, if you know what I mean? Like I just have much more of that, mm, like that, yeah, just that, that power behind me to want to go and just girls, right? So that, that would, yeah, that would be probably one of the main things that I've noticed is that I do want to go and hook up with girls more now since I've started, or sorry, since I've stopped um, jerking off to internet porn. But I, I would say that, you know, I didn't really have any depress, uh, depression issues or major social anxiety issues. But if you're suffering in some kind of way, right, and you're a guy and you jerk off to porn all the time and you do it maybe at least once a day, twice a day, even three times a day. Who's jerked off three times a day? I've fucking, I've done it too, of course. If it's something that you think that might be causing a problem in your life, I'd definitely really look at doing a little bit more research on it and seeing and experimenting with it and seeing how it could improve your life possibly. Um, I know this is totally left field curveball kind of stuff to be talking about because you might think well, that's not going to really have any kind of effect in my life and it's like well how do you actually know you know by trying and by experimenting so i'm not a master or an expert on this topic at all i'm definitely going to be leaving some links below to guys who have a lot more experience in terms of uh the science and you know helping guys get off fapping but I'm basically, I'm done with internet porn, personally. Like, I have no desire to watch internet porn anymore. I, I think it's totally unnecessary. And I'm really starting to enjoy having more oomph behind me if I want to go hook up with girls, right? Because that's, that's natural, right? Like, to want to, you know, have sex with girls, that's like a normal thing to want to do. And if you're not feeling like you want to, now, if you're, if you're gay, that's, I mean, that's totally different, right? So I, I'm not going to go into that. But if you're, if you're straight and you're just not that interested in going out and meeting girls and you also jerk off to internet porn, that could be one thing that's like inhibiting you from wanting to go do that. So this is a pretty cool experiment. If you want more videos on it, I'll definitely do more videos on it. Um, but I think it's a really, really interesting topic. Really, really interesting. And it's, um, it's just, yeah, it's just kind of a weird topic to be posting about because people think like, well, no, it's just masturbation. It's not, it's not a big deal. But the way that it works is that it, it can have a serious effect on a guy's brain. A serious effect. So it's definitely something that you might just want to take a look at. And say if you're female watching this, maybe your boyfriend is having, uh, maybe your boyfriend watches a lot of porn and jerks off to it. And maybe, maybe your sex life is hurting because of it, right? Maybe because he doesn't, uh, doesn't want to have sex with you or maybe he can't get off or maybe he can't even get it up, right? So fapping to porn, could uh, it could be definitely playing a role in that problem. So definitely check it out. I'll leave lots of resources below if you want to want to do some more research. But very, very interesting topic on, uh, on the D-Man's channel here today. And uh, if you've watched all the way this far, congratulations. Congratulations for watching this far. You get a trophy in the mail that I'll send you. Awesome, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Leave your questions and comments in the box below. Talk to you soon. Peace out.